Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run the latest version of Kali Linux in your Android using Limbo PC Emulator. So let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Kali Linux in your Android using a Limbo PC Emulator application. Very long time ago, I already made a video on this topic that how you can run Kali Linux, but that was the old version. Now this is the latest version of the Kali Linux and in this video I am going to show how you can run in your Android. And this is the fully working of the Kali Linux and this is the official version of the Kali Linux. And everything is perfectly working in this and the internet is, can be accessible. In every Linux, uh, the internet is accessible and this is the Kali Linux and it, in this Kali Linux version, internet is also perfectly working. So first of all, you have to download uh, the Kali Linux file the downloading in the description and second thing you have to download and install Limbo PC emulator if you don't know about this this is the uh, PC emulator application for Android while using this we can run any ISO file in Android like Windows uh, Linux and there are a lot of videos on my channel you can check out my channel so first of all you have to open the Limbo PC emulator you have to click on the none you have to click on the new you have to create machine now I'm giving this machine name Kali Linux I've already created the machine now you have to get into the CPU boards, you have to select the CPU model, I am going to select uh, QEMU32, in every Linux I have selected this uh, CPU and this perfectly working, and CPU cores I am going to select 6, because this is the uh, latest version of the Kali Linux, and RAM, and I am about to select the maximum amount of RAM I am going to select, and this also depends on your smartphone specifications, and I am going to uncheck the TSC, and I am going to enable MTTCG. So you have to do this settings in the CPU on board, you have to scroll down, you have to select the removable drive, not the hard disk. Because this is the Kali Linux and we have to, we are running this Kali Linux in live world. So you have to select Kali Linux. So this is the ISO file, that's why we have selecting in the CD-ROM. Make sure you are also selecting this in the removable drive in the CD-ROM. And boot, you have to select boot from CD-ROM because we have selected the ISO file in the CD-ROM. You have to scroll down, you have to get in the graphics, you have to select Cyrus in video di display scroll down you have to get in the network you have to select user and network card you have to set it as a default i already said the network is perfectly working in this uh, kali linux and make sure before uh, booting up the linux you, you have connected with the internet so i've already connected by wi wi-fi in my android phone now you have to click on the high priority so we have done all the settings in the limbo pcm letter now i'm going to just turn on the screen rotation turn the android phone to get the better view for the better understanding so let me just set up the camera and come back again now as you can see in the screen this is the limbo pcm letter i have done all the settings so let me just click to play button and make sure before uh, click on the play button you have connected the internet so i'm going to just click to play button And as you can see, this is the Kali Linux. I'm going to enable and just click to enter. So this Kali Linux uh, is the latest version of the Kali Linux and it will going to take some time to boot up. So here I'm going to fast forward this video and come back after the Kali Linux fully loaded.
As you can see on the screen, finally the Kali Linux has been successfully booted in my Android and it will take in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes approx totally in my Android phone. Because this is the latest version of the Kali Linux and it will require a high-end device. So I'm using a mid-range device and uh, uh, if you having a high-end device it will can run very fast and can boot very quick. So as you can see this is the Kali Linux and this is the latest version of the Kali Linux. And as you can see, this is the all the preloaded softwares in this Kali Linux terminal emulator, root emulator, file manager, text editor, web browser, Kali Linux, Kali Docs, Kali Books. And as you can see, this is the. And I, I already said that the internet is perfectly working in this Kali Linux. So you can. Uh, there is a Firefox preloaded browser in this Kali Linux. So you can open browser and access internet. I have checked, it's perfectly working. And every application is perfectly working and this is the official version of the Kali Linux and this is the not the uh, developed by third party person so this is the official version of the Kali Linux and you can use it in Android and every feature single feature is perfectly working terminal and internet is accessible so we are running this uh, in the CD-ROM a lot of subscribers commenting on my videos uh, to show how you can uh, shut down and how you can quickly access the PC it may be a windows linux so let me just show you how you can do that so as you can see this is the kali linux fully perfectly working so let me just show you the quick tutorial how you can shut down and how you can access quickly os any os it may be windows or linux so as you can see there is a three, three lines you have to click on it and you have to just click if you want to uh, use your android phone and if you want to uh, put it in pause uh, this windows or linux you can click on the pause vm after clicking pause vm so as you can see it will say uh, paused VM is now paused tap to ok to exit so let me just click to ok so now you can use android phone uh, but uh, your android phone can may run slow because um, we just paused the os so this is the only quick access way to pause and shut down the pc and re quick can quick access if you again if you exit or everything and just like, do exit so it will again again you have to uh do everything settings and you have to it did not require to do a, again if you shut down and it will again going to take some time to boot up so as you can see it will saying pause and then just we exit and again i am going to open the kali linux so it will take in only few seconds to shut down i am going to just click to play button and it will saying starting vm and it will saying P uh, vm resuming so as you can see again from where we shut down where we pause the VM it will going to start from there only it uh, did not uh, uh, going to boot up so as you can see this is the how you can shut down again ac again access any OS in using demo PC emulator but this may can slow down your Android smartphone if you're using this uh, in the secondary Android phone so you can uh, do that so as you can see this is the Kali Linux fully perfectly working in Android with using Limbo PC emulator and this is the latest version of the Kali Linux. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share this video. If any question or problem let me know in the comments. Thank you.